because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Yes, who's back? Yes, yes, yes. You see, I, I came in a le little less aggy this year. Okay? Now, I want to talk about conspiracy, but truth. Okay? You know I'm going to bring this up because I'm truth and I'm truthful. I talk about everybody. I talk about Cardi B all the time. Let's talk about Nicki Minaj. And we talked about her and her husband and their escapades they be involved in. We could cr create a uh, whole playlist specifically for Cardi B and... Um, Nicki Minaj because they stay in the news, but we know you know we give you that other stuff that that the people who you know ain't on a fan list want to talk about. So we're gonna talk about Nicki Minaj arranged uh, for her dad arranged. I do apologize for her dad to visit her hours before he was unalive in a hit and run crash. I want to say first, love and blessings to Nicki Minaj. Okay, okay. Yeah, reading this with me, but I, you know, I, I, I think from both sides. So let's just listen to this because we know what happens in Hollywood. So I'm going to keep this on a respectable side right now because this is very tragic. But do you remember what um, a few artists said before they dropped big albums that they have things that happen to their family? As I showed you the video with the baby and also um, Kali Jenner, Jenner's boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? What he said about his family and a few people passing away before he was dropping big big stuff, you know? So let's just listen to this. I'm not saying that's what got what's going on right now, but y'all know Grace Levi, say stuff. <laughs> They ain't playing no music then. Okay. The musician father, Robert Minaj, Mirage, 64, died in February 2001 after being struck by a car. Okay. New York and in New York and Nikki has now revealed they spoke shortly before the tragedy to arrange a trip for him to California to meet her baby son for the first time. Okay, listen to that, okay? Now let's read this. So right after I had the baby, and it was during corona, and nobody knew what was going on, but that day, as I'm rocking him, the phone rings, and I see it's my father. In the conversation with Apple Music, um, this was what Nicki Minaj explained. She look a little weird in this picture. She do. She do. Okay. Let me make sure that y'all can hear me. Okay, she do look a little weird. Okay. Okay, the nor uh, I normally would not have picked up. That's your daddy. Oh, let me not talk. Because I got an original daddy. I got original daddy issues. So let me not say nothing because I don't know their state. But we got to keep that in mind. Because I don't like to be on the phone with the baby there. I would have called him back. Oh, that's weird. Something said, pick up the phone, pick up. He was very happy, and he was like, baby, I could come on Monday because he had been waiting to be available to come to Cali to help me. Mm. Let's keep reading. I don't want to hear the music, y'all. All right, I kept on saying, come on out. He wasn't really... He wasn't really happy, but I knew that when he came to be with us, he we were going to be happy. He he wasn't really happy. Why wasn't he happy? First, first he was happy. Then he wasn't really happy. Okay? We're reading this together, okay? Kind of changed. Why wasn't he happy when he came but be with to be with me, be with us? 
we were going to be happy. He is, he is this amazing, great person who lit, livens us up the whole house, who livens up the whole house. I was like, yes, we were going to get help. Okay, let's keep it moving. However, the trip never happened because just hours later, Nikki got a call from Mom Carl, who, oops, hold on, I read that too slow, who broke the terrible news that Robert had been involved in an accident. The phone rang again. It was my mother telling me that my father was in an accident and that he didn't know what was going to happen, that she didn't know what was going to happen. She would call me back. Shortly after that phone call, he was happy but not happy. What the hell that mean? And then everything started spinning. Couldn't believe how quickly everything happened. It was the happiest that I had heard him in a long time. Nikki went to explain that she included the tribute to her dad on her new album, Pink Friday. Y'all remember when it was, ho oh, oh, stop it. Cause I gotta finish reading. Y'all remember when I it was that clip? I think I showed y'all last set of conspiracies with Grace, where they say allegedly every time Beyonce have a major um, concert, some big big celebrity icon passed away, and she tribute them in her concert, i.e. Whitney Houston, a few Michael Jackson, a few other people. That I showed you, okay? Those clips going to be uploaded this week, okay? I already cut them down. You're going to see what I'm talking about if you missed it. But this is, as Grace say, remarkably similar, okay? So she put a tribute on Pink Friday 2 to her dad. That was the one she was on Instagram with them young kids shaking it fast. I ain't mad at her. Whatever way she promote, she definitely got her fans on lock. And I do appreciate that because they support her. As the first song on the record, and are you are you gone already? Featuring her talking to him and telling him he never got a chance to meet her son, who she has nicknamed Papa Bear. Okay. It's music. So I'm telling my father you never got to meet Papa Bear. She sings in the song. And we're going to leave that like there. That was brought to you by Bang Showbiz, okay? And that was something that I found interesting, came on my timeline. Did anybody know that? Now, it just sounds remarkably similar to a lot of the conspiracies we hear. And I'm going to leave it like that just because um, this is fresh to me. It may, may not be fresh to other people, but um, her coming out and saying this is definitely fresh. And um, we're going to wait till more come out because I'm not going to say sacrifice. Let me shut the hell up. Shut up, Grace. Moving forward. <laughs>